Hey, what's up guys? Rob Satch from Feedback Ranch. We do digital marketing and uh, paid ads, websites for small businesses, particularly for accountants. And in this video, I wanna talk about one thing that I've learned about uh, marketing for your accounting firm. So something interesting has happened here over the last couple of weeks. I actually got introduced to the entire world of marketers for accounting. Um, so just let me explain this real quick. If you didn't know this, I started and launched and grew Nuance Financial Tax and Accounting out of Lakeville here um, in Minnesota, right? And what's funny about my story is when I built this firm, I went from zero to 150 small businesses with uh, my partner who was a CPA and another guy, and we really crafted a sweet service that I called the outsourced accountant model. And what's kind of interesting about this whole thing is I went at this totally different than what I'm seeing most of you are doing. In fact, we're building scores of websites for people um, throughout the last couple of weeks for accountants and bookkeepers that, in fact, I'll show you a couple of them here. We've got some really cool work. If you come to feedbackwrench.com and then as you scroll down, you can go to our work here and you'll see that we've got a whole handful of websites, um, quadrant business taxes, scaled tax and accounting. Those are some of my favorites right now. But what you'll see is we build websites for, the, for uh, small accountants. And I have these videos on YouTube that are talking about how to build a value-focused accounting firm. And now I just talked to a friend of mine, Mandy, and she was talking to me about all of the different um, people that are doing similar stuff. So what's really weird and unique about my firm compared to what I'm seeing out of most of these marketers and gurus for accountants, I think they do a great job. I really do. Um, there's some similarities in everything that they're doing and I think there's a uniqueness that I bring. So first of all, if you're looking to get your business set up and you wanna drive good business retainer clients, we can do everything from setting up lead magnets and funnels. You don't need click funnels. You don't need all that nonsense. We will help you choose your niche, use Facebook ads and LinkedIn ads to bring them into your funnel and then have sales automation. We make that easy, but we also make making sure that you have an excellent website that connects with business owners and that ranks in local SEO, which that's what I'm gonna get into, is there's this whole other world of advertising that gets neglected by all of these gurus that are selling $2,000 programs and coaching, and I think they add a ton of value, right? I, I really do, but I think that they're, they're not showing the entire side of things that are coaching and our website, and then our process, when we build a website with somebody, we go through what we've found to be true in terms of scores of different um, accounting firms and our own firm here at Nuance. And now, just to be clear, I'm not an accountant. Um, I do marketing for accountants. I help marketers, or I help accountants build up a situation so that they can attract me. I'm a business owner that hates this stuff. So um, what I wanna do real quick is talk about what I think is really prevalent out there right now and how I think my firm in particular and how we went about it was a little bit different than what I'm seeing from most folks. So this isn't to say that I'm super special, but I want you to understand the advice that I'm giving you. Um, not only what is that advice, but how is it a little bit different? Now check out, if you go to my website, um, if you go to feedbackwrench.com, you'll see there's a new little tab here called For Accountants. I've got a an online course that you could check out. I've got websites for accountants. We help you do that. Do not fall for the template nonsense. We need to combine an excellent custom design with an excellent set of copywriting that really brings people in along with the best of what Google, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn offer for machine learning ads, which is really the difference. And I'm telling you, well, not only that, but we will make sure that you win the local and the, the organic SEO game so that when people are searching accountants near me, tax professionals near me, um, bookkeeping services, bookkeeping services near me, business accountants, but if you just rely on these lead funnels and you have a measly website that hardly functions and doesn't have the real triggers for SEO and local SEO, you're not going to be able to build momentum over time. And that's what I would tell you is the two games that you play is you want to make sure you build an excellent website that has messaging that connects with that core business owner. Number two, you want to drive people to that website with paid search ads and paid Facebook lead magnet funnel styles. And number three, you do want to rank over time. You want to make sure that you create content that positions you you as an authority that helps drive people to your website and that ranks online and 
around that whole thing is that you need to build credibility. You have to have things on your websites like customer reviews. You have to build up your Google My Business reviews. You have to build up your Facebook reviews because they get used in Bing places. You need to have client testimonials and build the rapport with your clients that they would send you a short little um, introductory or, or testimonial. In fact, if you look at what we got going on most of our websites, that's what we're encouraging. We build websites that have all that. We do it for super affordable and what you pay for a consulting fee for most people you're going to come out of it with the consulting, but also a website and a marketing system and support from us that's light years above what you're going to get from most people. So yeah, I'm getting a little aggressive right now because here's what I've been seeing in most of these um, firms and most of these bookkeeping and accounting marketers situations. Here's what I'm seeing. They do what I know every marketer does. They pick their niche, accountants. Then they tell that accountant to pick their niche. And then what they do is they equip them on how to run Facebook lead magnet style advertising to bring them into a funnel where you would do value-based sales and you do a super simple landing page that, yes, gives away the lead magnet, but then on after that, it drives towards a Calendly booking, right? That sales is good. That's basically, you wanna keep a very clear, concise, simple system for people to actually do business with you, right? Um, but what I've found is that it's only part of the equation. Now, let me back up a little bit and tell you how I've come to this conclusion that you need equal parts website and organic SEO with equal parts lead generation. And, and not only that, underneath that needs to be an amazing ability to connect value propositions, to connect what's important to your customer, because one of the funny things that I'm seeing in all of these marketers' uh, courses, they do a good job of telling you kind of the, the, the simple basic parts of it, but what they're not doing is showing you what actually is valuable to that customer. And I'm telling you, one of the things that you're going to find is that there's always this vague language about, now, you want to work with people that value what you offer. You should go in and increase your pricing. Don't work with people that don't value what you offer. And yet, what they don't do is they don't help you pick the lock of the mind of that business owner or entrepreneur that wants an accountant. And I think if there's one thing that my, um, if there's one thing that my course, let alone our services, I have a course and I have services, our course is going to teach you how they think, how to lead a meeting, how to ask questions, how to guide them along in a sales, a practical sales situation so that at the end of it, they're very likely to actually work with you. And I'm gonna show you some of the secrets that you'll find. You know why? Because I ran 300, 400 plus meetings face to face or I didn't even do them virtually. Now I could do them virtually, but I ran them face to face with small business owners, entrepreneurs, construction companies, consultants, everybody. And we didn't pick just one niche. We had realtors and construction uh, folks. So there's a whole bunch of, of learning that you'll get out of my course that's more about understanding how do you use great questions during your meetings. Because once you drive a lead to you, that's great. But what you also want to do is make sure that your website and your sales conversations lead in a direction that actually cause people to think, you know what, this accountant is good and I want to work with them. I trust them and they're going to help me accomplish what I want to accomplish, not just what's in my best interest. And I think that this is unique. So let me back up just a little bit again. I started Nuance Financial Tax and Accounting. And what I think is different from me is that I didn't come at this from a marketer standpoint. Yes, we have a digital marketing firm. It's called Feedback Ranch. We do a heck of a job. We do websites, we do paid ads, we do all that. But you know what? I started this because I was working at a church, okay? And when I was working at that church, I got a new supervisor. Uh, we butted heads and I got fired. And after I got fired, I got recruited to go into the financial services industry. I got recruited by Thrivent Financial where faith and finance meet, okay? And the thing that I learned about at the financial services industry is what they would do is you would go prospect. You had to get in front of a ton of people. It's almost like a multi-level marketing scheme in a way it kind of is. But what you do is you would have to make, you know, 20 phone calls a day or 30 to 50 phone calls a day to get your appointments. And what you do is you'd run, you do connect appointments, analysis, and take action meetings, right? And the idea is if you could get to five connect meetings every day throughout the week, you would just blow your business up because it's just a numbers game. Your job initially is to create a, a mathematical inevitability that because your, your pipeline is so good that that pipeline, that number of meetings are going to lead to enough people taking action just by sheer volume, right? And then Hopefully you can get good coaching and get good at it and they'd have you like work with other people. But what I found out about this industry is while I was getting excellent sales coaching, 
there was a manipulation going on and I didn't really like it. And the manipulation was that at the very end of the product is that you would add all this value for folks. And then the end result was that you only got paid in three or four different ways. Number one was if you charged an upfront retainer fee for planning, which if I was going to go back, that's what I do. Most of us didn't do that because you had to jump through more hoops to become a financial planner that could actually do that. There was just a bunch of bureaucracy. Number two, you get paid only when people would roll their assets over to you or if they'd buy insurance from you. Now, I sold a lot of insurance, but I sold insurance like I would buy, which maybe is good, maybe is not. Long story short, I didn't like the products I was putting people in. The, the whole structure was built to only pay us if we were shoving people into what's called variable annuities, which were very expensive for the end user and were very rich for us and we'd get paid. It felt dirty. But in there, what I found was I went and found the most successful financial planners at Thrive and Financial and then eventually the same thing at Mass Mutual. And basically what I saw is that they were doing something interesting. They would run kind of a lead magnet. They would go out and they would run seminars or events or lunches or whatever it is and they would teach on a subject. The subject were always two things. One, they would talk about estate planning and two, they would talk about tax planning. And in those things, what they would do is they would hit on, here's the five to 20 points. And it was very much like a lead magnet is now, whether it's a webinar or, or an actual lead magnet PDF lead generating uh, giveaway. The idea is that you add value around this specific thing because the audience that's interested in estate planning and tax planning have money. And those people that have money money will end up doing more business with you no matter what. So what was really interesting about that, I'm like, man, that's great, but I don't like how I get paid. I concocted this idea. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do this tax planning thing, but I want to go where there's real tax planning. I had read some recent books by Mark Kohler, Sandy Botkin. Um, I had read all the Robert Kiyosaki books and there's one by Tom Wheelwright. It was like the tax loopholes of real estate. And there was another one called how to reduce your taxes. And long story short, I was geared up. I'm like, dude, S-Corps, real estate, depreciation, bonus depreciation, cost segregations. Um, you could get into you know, dividends, uh, dividend paying brokerage accounts with dividends, or you could do this whole, like, let's bank on yourself. I learned so many things, but what I always came back to is like really good tax planning was business entity choice, making sure that you get that right, making sure that you get all of the big write-offs, which would be retirement plans, benefits, real estate, and there's a whole game around that, and then like vehicles, right, where there or, or, or machinery and stuff that you just have to time that right. And I'm like, man, that's sweet. So I went out and I said, I'm going to go find people and I'm going to run some meetings and show them, hey, bring this to your accountant. Here's a little thing that I put together. It's around how a single owner escort or a single LLC or these because that's really who I was looking for. I'm like real estate agents and small construction guys. That's who I wanted to hit. So I went and got about three or four meetings, then five or six meetings, seven, eight. And I'm like, I'm going to show you how to do tax planning. Bring this to your accountant. By the way, I know an accountant, maybe if you want to talk to him. And then I'll help you do your retirement plan. These solo 401ks and man, it was like, it was really hard because you didn't get paid much on this whole thing. Meanwhile, hopefully I sell you some term life insurance, right? So I go out and I do that. And I proposed the two ideas, the first couple of groups. And they're like, Rob, the retirement plan, yeah, we'll do that sometime, but not now. But talk to me more about this S-Corp thing. And I'm like, well, here's what you'd have to do. You can do this, you can do this, you can do this. But when you set up an S-Corp, you know, you're going to have to have your your uh, your documents in place. You're going to have to run a payroll. You're going to have to probably have an account. You're really going to want an accountant to do it. And they're all like, my guy doesn't do that. He just does my year-end taxes. And I'm like, Really? So I go out and get some more and I'm thinking I'm going to sell some investments. I never sell any investments. It just gets super frustrating. I'm like, dude, when am I ever going to sell some investments through this whole process? So eventually I called my buddy, Nick. I'm like, Nick, he's working up at Eagle Brook Church. He had worked at CBiz for seven years as a tax accountant. I bumped into this other partner that we had. And uh, long story short, I'm like, dude, I think there's an, I don't think these accountants do any of this. I'm like over on the investment planning side, these guys are, they're charging like 1% plus $3,500 to do a plan like every other year or something like that. But it seems like these accountants just do the tax returns and kind of tell them when to do, oh, you should do some IRA contributions. It's just, they never like do proactive planning. I think we have an opportunity to do some really powerful stuff. And he's like, hmm, okay, maybe. So anyways, out of Nick's basement, we start hustling. I go out and I get all these clients. We bring them in. We run the meetings. We do the whole thing. 
So the reason why I'm bringing up this story is that as we were doing that, we started to find out what was really valuable to these small business customers. Not only that, I started to find out what were the things to pique their curiosity to get them to actually talk. When they're in a meeting with us, what are the things that they're telling us and signaling? Because I'm like an AI machine. Like when it comes to sales, if you didn't know this, I actually used to work at Best Buy. I did eight years at Best Buy, love or hate Best Buy. I was like the best version of a computer salesperson that you'd ever want to engage with. Long story short, I was able to like connect with people, help be a guy to show them how to choose a computer, show them the best value that we had that week and get them set up. I could sell like 20 computers at a time. In fact, I did this during the economic down crash and there was times where it was like me and two other guys in the whole store and we ran the entire store and, and you would not be upset that things weren't moving well. I knew how to keep things going. So what's weird is as I was doing all this prospecting for, for our little tax firm, I was learning. I was learning the digital side. I was learning how the customer thinks and super adaptive. So I don't mean to toot my own horn but in this is like I, I'm, I'm a professional salesperson in that I'm a professional guide at understanding how the process should work. What do the customers need done? What's valuable to them? How do I connect personally and move the ball down the field professionally with them at the same time crafting inside of our business a solution that genuinely connects and solves those problems? And then how do we build systems around it, right? And the systems part is really hard, but not only that, how do we translate that digitally? And over time, I learned that digitally. So the reason why I'm bringing this up is that it's not that I'm an accountant and I build an accounting firm and I'm like Andrew Argue and then I, and Andrew Argue does a great job. His whole Corvi tool, I tell you what, I'm gonna do a video right after this about how we can build you a tool that does 95% of what Corvi does for free inside of your website because it comes down to just showing them here's the financial benefit or the savings you're gonna see. That's really what it is. You can make it look complex or not. I used to sell with two sheets. I'd always come with two sheets, unique sheets. One, how much they're gonna save, Two, here's what's included, and I write the monthly price on the bottom. But the idea here is that I'm not like Andrew argued that I was a CPA, I had a firm, I kind of got it, and then I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go out and I'm going to sell accounting marketing services. And I'm not a marketer that just chose a niche because I kind of knew the niche. No, what happened here was is that Feedback Wrench's unique perspective towards accountants grew out of us growing this firm and seeing what people need. And here's what I would just tap into, guys. When you... Choose our course, you're gonna find out how to actually connect and move the ball down the field around what's valuable to them with practical questions, um, psychological points of view, when do you pivot, how do you lead the discussion, how do you do things that way, how do you price things, that's, that's not that complex, but I'm not gonna come at you and tell you just charge more. In fact, I'm gonna help you make sure that your website is laid out in a way that you connect with that business owner so they don't think you're too fancy. I got a whole other video in our course called Too Fancy and it's a, it's a killer section that's about how do you make sure that you don't overwhelm a business owner and make them think you're too expensive. They just want their taxes done. That's the beginning and then you wanna get that conversation. So all that being said, we're able to help you build a website and a marketing funnel that's going to help you drive conversations with people so that you can start doing what I teach you in that course. And I think that's what's unique about the course. And I've lowered the price of the course. Go check it out. It's very low cost. I, I move it a little bit up and down because I want more people to understand it because it's the building blocks of what's going to be a successful accounting uh, situation. Now, I'm not selling any of these other guys short. I think they do great job. I genuinely do. But here's the deal. I think you're going to get different coaching out of me. In fact, um, I just had Asnani CPA or Shamal of Asnani CPA. Um, he has fitnesstaxes.com, which is a site we just built for him. And uh, we're helping him kind of get that up and going. But basically, he's like, Rob, I've done all of the different marketing gurus out there. The thing that's different about you is you tell me exactly what's going to be valuable to that customer, what to say and how to say it, and then how to set up the pricing so that it makes sense. And you can fill in the blanks, but you're going to get the heart of the matter with Feedback Wrench. And here's the deal. I've built a team. I got a full-time designer, writer, video guy. We've got a new uh, relationship to help even more writing so we can help more folks come on board and get started with us. So if you want this done easy, we'll make you a website, we'll build the marketing funnel for you, and we will empower you to go out and just do what you do best with our website and ads. And then moving forward, we're starting a coaching group. The coaching group is gonna be a mix of really cool SEO that's gonna help you dominate in your local market, help you dominate your sector, because we're gonna be writing uh, articles together and using each other to backlink to each other in a natural good way, which will increase your authority. And then lastly, our websites are faster. 
They're more unique. They're set up for machine learning. We have uh, the tools like ClickFunnels type tools where you can make sales pages, landing pages, webinar, lead magnet giveaways, and we have the whole system. So check us out on FeedbackRanch.com. We'd love to connect with you. Good luck. God bless. And I hope you have an excellent summer.